I got into chiropractic because when I was a kid, I was in sports and I had a lot of sports injuries. My dad was a wrestling coach, school teacher, and had his wrestling earlier. So he took me to the chiropractor after my first injury around eight years old. Not only did it clear up the problems that I was having with those injuries, but it started to clear up my strep throat and ear infections. Chiropractic happens and all of a sudden I'm a healthy person. So I'm thinking, wow, this is incredible. So through the years, that's what I was gonna be. I'm a third generation chiropractor. Always wanted to follow in my dad's footsteps. The way he ran his office back then is how we run the office today. I started going to the Parker seminars after talking with buddies, learned philosophy and technique and practice building and personal building, and it was just phenomenal. And I just thought, oh, it was just a breath of fresh air. And from that point on, you know, I started going. I went there with them the first time, and then the very next one I went to, I met her. People will say, you know, you go to Parker seminars, why do you continue to go? And it was always because every time you go, you can always still learn something. It brings you back to our you know, purpose of what, what we want to do in caring for people. Because you can be book smart, but clinic and practice smart and dealing with the real world, that's where Parker really mm -hmm. comes into play. The exciting part is we're really seeing huge changes in people's lives, enhancing their lives, and people that have lost hope after they've been through, you know, we'll say the medical mill, like they've gone through and tried everything, and then here they, they're coming to us. Chiropractic drives me. We have friends in all different professions, and we're always talking chiropractic. We're always letting them know, you know, this is what we do. We're out in a very small town. It is out here. It's our field of dreams. When we, we built this office 12 years ago, you know, it wasn't, we say, downtown lost, and it's a town of 500 people. And I know that there are, again, new docs that are going to be coming out that some of them think that the only place you can be successful is in the city. But you know what? We're busy. Definitely an asset to the, to the community for them, and they really do thank us for being here. We're able to do it. We're together 24-7. Not everybody can do that. We just she really... tolerates me well. <laughs> <laughs>